Hi, this is Annie. I'm your fairy blog mother. Today we're going to be talking about a website called Noem. That's kind of strange, but it's K-N-O-W-E-M. And it is a dot-com site. This is going to help you determine whether or not your the name you have thought of for your website or blog is actually available. Okay? Not just as a domain, but in social networks, in trademarks, things like that. So what I've done here is I've typed in Fairy Blog Mother into the search bar. Now, I'm fully aware that that name is, is taken, but let's just look. So you click search, and it's going to tell you everything you really ever wanted to know about it. Um, it's going to tell you what extensions, right? So org is available. I could do a fairyblogmother.org, or several of these others. These are all available to me. This one is possibly available, but it's for sale, right? Which means it's probably more than I want to pay at this time. Um, then it's going to look down through the social media networks and see, is it available in any of those? Um, you can actually look at other uh, specific ones like here, right? You can go down and say, well, I'm really only interested in certain ones, like in blogging. Uh, only those that are community-based. I mean, these are all of the possible social media um, possibilities that you can have. So you can spend a lot of time going down the rabbit hole here, or you can just kind of, you know, see, is it available on the basic ones? right uh, so i would say probably look for facebook look for uh, there's facebook you know is it available it doesn't look like it is but we'll check this category and see so now facebook is not available in that particular one now could I name it something like Fairy Blog Mother 1 or 2 or 50 or, yeah, sure. But, you know, if you, if you wanted it all to be sort of the same, then this is where you would go to, to ensure that. Um, some of them are not uh, available to be found on here. I'm not sure Instagram is. I don't believe it is. Um, Pinterest may or may not be. But anyway, this is kind of how you see if what is available for your social media standing and what have you. If I really wanted to take it further, I could go into trademarks and see if it is actually, the trademark is available. And it is. So looks like I can actually register that trademark for $158 plus 325 USPTO filing fee. Pretty cool deal. So, um, which I think is pretty, pretty nifty. So anyway, you just, whatever name you come up with, um, it's hard to think of a name off the top of my head that's not already been taken. So let's look for cheap uh, tea journal. I know that's silly, but let's say that that's what I wanted. So cheap tea journal. And how did I come up with that name? <laughs> Came up with it by looking to my left, right? <laughs> so in this case, it's going to tell me is where where all it is actually available. It's actually available on Facebook. Um, it's available on Pinterest, and is it it is available as a dot com, right? And of course, if I wanted to, it is available under the USPTO. Uh, trademark database so if I wanted to trademark that I could so this is where I want you to do I want you to take your list of five or six that you've come up with and run them through this to see if those names are available if you find the one you like the best that best portrays your um, blog or website and it has the most social media that you might be using and right it has, uh, you know, everything that you would want it to have, then this is the one you want to use. Once you've decided that, go to the next section and we'll talk about how you purchase your domain and where you go from here. Okay. 
Thanks.